Hello everyone, welcome back to another reading. My name is Mina and we are doing a really fun one today about past life, basically messages that your past lives need you to know. Don't forget, this is a general reading. If you want something more specific for you, you wanna do um, an Akashic Record reading, there's audio version or one-on-one -on -one available below. I know the sun is like crazy here, but I, I saw this in all your readings too, but I am, I am a solar being and I need to be charged by the sunlight actively as I'm reading. Otherwise I get really tired at the end. So if any of you guys want, maybe you should try that hack if you're also readers. It really, it really helps me maintain my energy. It's really cool. So, okay. We have four really cool groups today. Again, I did all the readings already. They were really profound. They were really heartfelt and insightful and just bring your bring come with an open heart to this one because it can be really profound transformation for you and if you're drawn to multiple groups watch whichever ones you're drawn to um yeah so all the links for everything extra is going to be below if you want to if you like this reading and you want to donate it all you can my paypal is now below too only if you feel like it totally optional of course and without further ado here are your groups Hello everyone, here are the groups you can choose from. I put them right side up this time, I just felt like that's what we needed to do. So you can choose one, you can choose multiple, don't overthink it, just feel whatever one is calling you, I feel that really strongly. Whatever one is calling you and you're intrigued by or you're drawn to, and it can be more than one, just watch them all because there are messages in each of those for each of you. So go ahead. Feel into it, not too long. <laughs> Choose whichever ones you want, and the timestamps are gonna be in the description below. Hello, group number one. If you chose Building Atoms, this is your reading. Okay, so first of all, I wanna say to you, this is really powerful energy. And I wanna say that to you because I feel that many of you are, okay, this is gonna be different for everybody, obviously it's general reading, but many of you have either lost your way in terms of like who you are or you're wildly misunderstood and you're kind of like, okay, I guess I just have to live this way where like everyone takes my meaning the wrong way. There's this energy immediately coming in. I just want to, I'm going to read your state right now and then we're going to dive into the past life because this needs to be said first of all. Your past life's already here, like hanging out. And what wants to be mirrored back to you right now is this message that don't, don't give up on yourself. You may feel like, Sometimes you don't belong here, you are different, you, I just feel like you don't really maybe emote in the same way as other people, or maybe you, a lot of other people are really sensitive to the things that you say, and again, take things the wrong way, not how you intended, maybe people think you're being rude or mean. I, I just want to call out to you, and your past life is saying, that you are such a mix. Okay. This is hard to describe. So our subconscious is the one that's always bringing situations to us with the sole purpose of the conscious mind finally looking at it. So the subconscious wants the conscious mind desperately to look at it, but we're trained and conditioned not to feel negative emotion. And so we shove them down instead. So then basically your internal world pulls to you from the external situations that will force you, hopefully force you to like see inside yourself. Also, I know this is not ideal lighting. The sun is like crazy right now, but this reading just had to be done right now. So, so they want you to know that the reason why you're feeling maybe like around, what is that? A peg in a square hole or whatever you're feeling like that. I'm getting a pulse on a lot of you. I'm, I'm trying to get a pulse. It's yeah. It's like, it's hard to get a pulse on you sometimes. I'm even feeling that I'm almost, I'm even like misunderstanding your energy and I'm not even like talking to you. 
I just feel like you're mysterious to people. You're misunderstood by people. They don't really get your meaning. They don't get, I just keep hearing you being like, that's not what I meant at all, you know? And I feel like you're not a callous person. Like you feel really deeply. Like, I feel like you do, you have deep emotions. And so it, it does hurt you that people are thinking these things about you or like not understanding you. And maybe that was a long time ago for you. And now, cause the number 40 that's on this card really called out to me. And I'm almost feeling if some of you guys are a little bit older now and you like you were misunderstood all through school and then you just became more and more hermit like as you got older because you're like, well, fine, if no one understands me, then I'll just be by myself. There's something significant about 40 for a lot of you. I feel like that might be your, around your age for a lot of you. Yeah, because if you are around the age of 40, if you're like late 30s or not early 40s, if you're late 30s, a message for you is that when you get to 40, you're going to, it's going to be like an, an evolution for you. You're going to become like brand new. You're not even going to like recognize the you in, from your thirties. If you're already, and if you're watching this and you're super young, then d I'll get to you in a second. <laughs> if you're older than 40, I need to tune into this. This is really important that I say this to you. Man, okay, sorry this is like so heavy right away, but if you're older than 40, you may get the you may have this feeling that like life passed you by and you wasted a lot of your life and yeah, like if you know if you're in like 50s, 60s, 70s, you might feel like life passed you by and you you know, didn't find your group or you didn't find your person or you didn't find your dream career or like almost like it slipped away from me and I, I literally feel like I am on this earth right now to say this to your face there is always time to start over there's this feeling of if you're like 60s or 70s or whatever and you feel like wow 40 was a long time ago they're saying to you no it wasn't you're in your 40s now like just imagine that energy of like you know, you went through your 20s of like not knowing who you were and just being a hot mess then you went through your 30s of like now I'm coming to terms with what is. And then your 40s is like, okay, I came to terms with it. And now what am I going to do with that? They're showing that's the evolution. It doesn't matter how old your earth body is. This is where you're at. That's what it is. This is where you're at in your maturity, um, like spiritually. So 40, they're really saying 40 is a significant age because it's the age where the person is really letting go of what other people are thinking about them. And even if you're like 18 watching this or 25, I really feel like you are at that 40 year old age in spiritually of, uh, oh, this is so right on you guys. My whole body is lit up right now. That is a powerful message for you from your past lives, because I know there's a, probably like, you know, more than one person <laughs> hopefully watching this right now. And and so obviously there's going to be a lot of different past lives coming here and speaking with me. But I think that's something everyone has in common here is that this is a theme of not understanding how to play the game of earth, not understanding how to play the game of human because you just want to be real. Oh my God. I'm so connected with you right now. I feel like you just want to be real and you just want to tell the truth and you just want to tell it like it is. And people are, are sensitive and there's a certain way that you're supposed to do things. Or maybe you're even watching this and you're from a culture where there's a lot of customs. Like I'm Iranian and we have a lot of customs that you have to like play the game a lot where you, you literally cannot just say what you're thinking. You have to like play, play the game, do the niceties. There's certain things you have to say when this happens and then when this happens, a certain way to act when this happens and this happens. It's like a whole thing that if you're not in the culture, you would literally need like a handbook on like how to deal with us. You know, it's a just, <laughs> I know, my, my mom's American and she definitely did need that handbook for sure. And yeah, so 
I just feel that for you. Like you didn't get the handbook for human and you're like, and now you feel like it passed you by. It doesn't matter what age you are. It just feels like maybe it passed you by. So, so if you're resonating with that, the, the really big message here from your past life is you are getting this message now for a reason. Like you weren't supposed to get it before. And do you really think I would just, now this is like your higher self coming in too. Like, do you really think I would just leave you in the cold like that? Can you honestly tell me that I would just leave you behind? That you would just be left behind? No. You had to go through a certain development first. So if you truly are late 30s or early 40s, you are like, your spiritual body and your physical body are very aligned. If you're really young hearing this message, then you are like far exceeded. And if you are older than 40s hearing this message, then what they're telling you is that your youth was literally robbed from you because you had to grow up too young. And you are now going through a Benjamin Button type of thing where you're actually going like backwards in age as you go forward. So they're saying to you, you know, I really feel like if, if any of you guys are out of your 40s, it could very well be that you had to grow up really young. You had to be really mature at a young age. You had to handle yourself. You couldn't really be like a snot nosed kid running through the dirt and not caring about anything. And so they're saying to you, now it's time for you to do that. And there is a friend group out there for you. And there is a soulmate out there for you. And there is a dream career out there for you. It's all out there for, I cannot tell you how strongly I'm feeling this. I'm, I, I wanna like jump through the camera and be like, <laughs> go like this to you, that everything is there. I, am, I would stake my life on this. Everything is there for you. If you, wanna, if you want to go for it, if you're going to, I'm just gonna be straight up with you because I love you. If you want to wallow in what was and what should have been and what could have been and all that stuff, then they can't help you. But if you want to start again and do it, this is your message that it can be done and it will be done if you have the desire. Woo, oh my gosh, okay. So more about this past life. I wanna show you this picture again because this energy to me is someone who has gone on a mission by themselves forced to go on a mission by themselves. Sorry, it was crooked because, well, for the reasons we have talked about already and look at everything they're discovering. Look at all these. And I see this as like nuggets of wisdom and look at this really cool. It's like this. It looks like this magical, like universal secret of energy that they have come across in their journey. And I feel like they have journeyed a long time and been alone a long time. And it's like, they finally come to it. Like, wow, there it is. You know, that's where you're at right now. And if you don't feel that way, I'm telling you, it's right on the, around the corner. You were just meant to hear me say this to you. I, I'm activating you right now into like moving into that. Okay. So the past life, and again, if you want a past life reading, that's part of my Akashic Record offering. Link below if you're interested in that. Obviously, this is a general reading, so I'm going to keep it in generalities for all of you guys. But the past life theme here for everyone is that in these past lives, you were very, very intelligent and very misunderstood. And, oh, okay. So... In whatever region of the world you are in, I'm seeing Egypt, I'm seeing ancient Greece, I'm seeing Atlantis, I'm seeing all sorts of places. I just heard Babylon, I'm seeing all sorts of things here. But you rose as either a priest or a high priestess or a advisor. Oh God, I'm getting a huge chill again. Advisor, seer, you rose high amongst the leadership and you were like their right-hand person. Like, I feel like you were high in the echelons of an advisor of some kind. And you were very matter of fact and they, oh my God. Okay, they appreciated it at first. Okay, ground yourself, you guys, ground yourself because this is huge past life trauma and, and ground yourself down. If, you're, if your heart's starting to race right now, this is like especially for you. So they appreciated it at first, 
And, oh my, and now my ears ringing. They appreciate it at first. They were like, wow, they put me in my place. They tell me what's up and they're always right. So that's great. But you're dealing with rulers here. And so over time, the re there, there grows a resentment. Like, why are they, that, why do they get the right to talk to me like that? Like the ruler is thinking that about you because you're mad, because again, you're matter of fact, you're very factual, like it's nothing personal. You hired me to do this job. I'm just giving it to you. You don't, you didn't ever understand how to play the game. You didn't understand how to stroke an ego, how to like speak niceties to this person. You didn't ever learn that. You didn't know. It's like, you're not, you weren't capable of it. You couldn't learn it. That's just not, that's why I say like this energy is very like, you don't know how to play the game. And, 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 but the problem is that you, th maybe you think that's a bad thing because in society, you know, the most charismatic of us are going to rise the highest. And if you're not charismatic and you kind of tell it like it is, people don't like that because again, people are sensitive, you know what I'm saying? So it makes sense. And so you falsely started to believe that this was bad. And so in what, in whichever one of you, wherever you were, whatever type of person you were, whatever, the energy is the same for all of you, which is it's the resentment of this ruler started to like bubble up in them. And they started to look for any, any reason that you were wrong about something because now they're annoyed with you. Now they're like, I don't know why you think you can talk to me like that, but they don't want to let you go because you're helping the monarchy or whatever it is, the ruling elites and you're helping them. And so this leader is in a tough position because they're like, okay, my ego is bruised right now. I don't like the way, I don't like how this person talks to me. I don't like how this person acts around me, but they're helping us uh, flourish. So if I'm gonna depose this person, then I need a reason to do that. I need to be justified in that so that I can show that the monarch, it's like that where like, maybe it was like a king or a Pharaoh or like a whatever and, their, their, what do you call, what do you call that? Like their board of directors, their, their court, their court, their court, the King's court is like, well, they're doing a great job. So I like, I need to like find a way to throw them under the bus to get them out of here. So it's like this leader suddenly, even though you're helping the, the kingdom so much or, or the, whatever you're helping so much but this leader can't get over that. They don't like the way you're, you're talking to them. And so, and they don't tell you that. They just don't let, they're like, you should just know that. You should know not talk to me like that. So long story short, in each of these cases, they found one tiny thing that literally you didn't even say. That's the thing, you were falsely accused of this too. You didn't even mess up. You didn't even mess up. And they brought it to you and they said, you did this. And, and many of you were murdered or exiled. You were either murdered or exiled. You didn't even get to go back amongst the people. I see some of you walking through the desert. I see some of you being hanged. I see some of you being decapitated. I see some, you know, whatever. Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? Okay. <laughs> I just see a lot of you going through a lot of pain. And man. Okay. So... The deepest, the deepest thing here your past life wants to tell you is that a few stories have been lodged into your subconscious as a result of this. People don't like me. I don't fit in to this game and therefore I will always be rejected. I can't win. I can never win. I can never have like my dream life or my dream whatever scenario because of all these things. And I will always be misunderstood. And that will always be the reason why I can't have what I want. Do you see how you've completely placed your power with someone else? Past life is coming in and saying to you, this was not our fault. We had to sacrifice this life. Like that life that I just saw, they're saying I had to sacrifice myself so that it's like I had to, I walked so you could run. Like I ran so you could fly. It's just this feeling of we sacrificed me so that you could see this and learn this lesson and overcome it. And if you don't overcome it, that's fine. Then you're whatever you are in the next life, then you'll do it again. And then you'll do it again. And then you'll do it again. And it's like, it's fine. But they really want to say to you, you know, 
see. <sighs> Sorry, there's there's a lot of competing energies right now, which makes me feel like when you break through this, oh, you're gonna break through so much. You're gonna break into such amazing stuff. They're just the energy is very potent here, so I'm just trying to like stay within the channel. Dude, you are gonna rise above. The, this is where you're at right now. I'm telling you. You're about to discover all of this stuff. You need to go on, what's that called? Oh, I hate whenever I channel, I don't have access to my memories. Or I do, but it just takes a second. Vision quest, vision quest. You need to go on a vision quest. You need to look it up. Look up what that is. Because you, you need to come to peace with yourself. You cannot change your life until you have made peace with who you are. The message is not that you need to change. The message is not that you need to learn how to play the game or be more charismatic or stroke people's egos. No, it's the opposite. You're meant to completely love and honor yourself even though that's not the way that you are, even though that's not what society praises because there's a new society being risen right now. And that, okay, this isn't some like weird Illuminati stuff. I'm saying there's a new way of operating in society that's rising right now and it's people being absolutely authentic and vulnerable even look at what's happening in hollywood right now look at the the stars that are the most popular right now are the ones that are like being goofy on TikTok or like sharing absolutely their life and their pain with songs i always think of i know some people like or maybe a lot of people aren't taylor swift fans but i always think about her when i think about this because Look at Taylor Swift versus a lot of these other people who don't ch take a chance with vulnerability. She's like t telling you, she's ripping herself open and like talking to you about her like covert narcissism. Like that, that's kind of crazy to like talk about that in front of like millions and millions of people, right? And billions of people. And, and she's doing it and she, you can just feel like the pain in her and, and having to admit certain things and, you know, and, Look at how many people are in love with her for that reason and who like go to her concerts and they're just this message to you that like vulnerability and just being real. So I'll say it like that, just being real, which I think you are, that, that takes a lot of guts and that is rewarded. And if you come across people that don't like that, then it's not your problem, it's their problem. As long as you're being kind, you know what I mean? You're not being like, you suck. <laughs> then obviously that's kind of rude. But if you're just being, the energy I'm feeling from you in this reading is not mean. It's like actually like super compassionate, but you're just like, I just don't play games. And I am literally, in, I am existing right now to, exclusively to say to you that that is absolutely okay. And we want you to keep being that way, but we want you to own it. Because there's a part of you that rejects that. There's a part of you that wishes that you weren't like that or you were different or it would have happened. I, I just hear so many coulda, woulda, shouldas. So just sit sit into this feeling of this is the way that I am and I, I want to have that actually on display and do that more. It's like coming to terms with yourself. That's why I say go on a vision quest because you need to, and you don't need to like go off, you know, by yourself in the woods or whatever, but just... You can go on a vision quest just like by yourself in your living room with some candles and you know what I mean? You can, it doesn't have to be super extreme if you don't want it to be, but like, or go on some like existential experience, like go to Sedona or like, you know, go, do like a solo trip somewhere. Or I, I do feel that I feel like you should take like a solo trip somewhere, be safe, but somewhere and like, be one with yourself and nature and just have some like really powerful come to Jesus moments, like some powerful coming to terms with yourself and coming to terms with what has been and what won't be so that you can allow for what will be. Okay. Past life came in strong. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you're interested in a private reading or a recorded reading, links are below. Also like, Leave a comment if this resonated with you. I'd love to hear from you guys so much and subscribe so that you never miss another video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Hello group two, if you chose hearth, 
This is your reading. Sorry if there's a glare here. Okay, you know, this, listen, this is a webcam. It doesn't focus. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do a vibe check first because what this card looks like and the energy I got from it are two wildly different things, in my opinion. So I'm going to just say the energy that I feel from it, I always move through the energy. And if you're like, that doesn't really resonate with me, then you, a different pile is your pile. Um, but instantly, and so I'm going to say one past life that I saw, it's not necessarily yours. Don't forget, this is a general reading. If you want more personalized messages from, from past lives and like to know specifically what past lives were yours and all of that, then there are one-on-one -on -one and recorded Akashic record options for you. That's all going to be in the description box. So just remember that, but a one past life instantly came to me and it was it feels very like Pride and Prejudice era, whatever era that was. And this woman, it, it feels like she is in like the, the class of, you know, kind of like she doesn't really have a lot to offer a rich man. And she's looked over a lot. I, I get this sense that she does, her family doesn't have the wealth. They're in like the upper levels like she's still like, you know, dressed in like a fine gown and stuff, but it's like, I guess it would be like upper middle class or something, you know, like she could have a shot at a, at one of the really rich guys. Like she could have a shot at Mr. Darcy if she were like wealthier or better looking. And, she, and I, okay, I hate to say this, but I'm not saying she's not good looking. I'm saying this is her perspective, her perspective and everyone's telling her that because she is, they're calling her plain looking because she's plain looking and not from like a super rich family, not a very well-to-do family, that her chances of marrying well are very low. And she feels personally responsible for that. And she feels really bad. Like she feels like she failed. She feels like she failed. And then she also feels like the universe failed her. In her case, she's saying God, like God failed me and like, why did I get, why did I get this mediocre ass life? So that's the past life energy coming through. Now, if you feel that way at all about your life, stick around. I have messages for you. If you feel like you are a pop star and you do not have a mediocre ass life and you're like, eh, then another message is for you. Go look at a different pile. But if you, if in some way you feel like, you just were handed a pile of crap or a pile of mediocrity and you're like, really? Like, this is what it is. This is an earth life. Like that's, that's crap. Stick around. Okay. So here we go. Okay. So that's just one example, but in every single one of these past lives that's coming up to me right now, it's all like short end of the stick. I was given the short end of the stick and and I, I feel fundamentally that you feel unseen, that people are judging you for physicality and money, you know, really external things. Okay, if you know me, every time I start playing with my nose, it's because I'm really like tuned into something. Um, just, you were just reduced to nothing. You're reduced to like, these stupid superficial things and, and everyone put the full emphasis on that and didn't see your true value. And then you didn't see it. And the past life is coming through to say to you, you still don't see it. You still don't see your value because you're still saying, well, I have just this regular job or I am a stay at home mom or I, whatever, like you feel a judgment from others about your career or your looks or the way you talk or whatever. You're just feeling in some way that you're not impressive to other people. And we're putting a lot of emphasis on other people and society. And even though at this like kind of Pride and Prejudice era, it was a lot more, like society was like a lot more prominent. Now, you know, we have normalized people being freaks. I mean, look, I'm literally wearing like elf ears right now, you know? We've normalized the freaks a little more. And so we, 
those of us who are weirdos, like we're allowed to let our freak flag fly a little more, but there, it, but it's, it, so that's what I feel for you is like, we are in the era now where people are becoming more empowered to just accept who they are. And there's a lot of like mental health accessibility, you know, mental health services. There's, there's look at how many psychologists and therapists are on social media and have like millions of followers. That's it's so accessible. Obviously that's not the same as like going to therapy, but a lot of this stuff is more accessible. So what they're really saying to you is that you are really caught in this past life energy of I am reduced to what I seem to be to others. And I feel your soul saying, why can't I just like be home again? So this is now where the hearth comes in. Why can't I just be home and cozy by the hearth, you know, with this cute little baby and this little dog? <laughs> like, why can't I just be comfortable? Why do I constantly feel uncomfortable with myself? This is the answer because your part of you, some part of you is still playing that story of I'm not good enough because X, Y, Z, that's completely like not even, it is a thing. I don't want to downplay how you feel because it is a thing. Like society does judge us a lot on the way we look and the way we appear to others and the way we act and the like, whatever. It, that's totally a thing. However, I am feeling, I just heard, okay, and so obviously the term is kept woman, but if you're a man, if you're non-binary, like, it, you don't have to be a woman for that message to come through, but if you feel that you're kept, if you feel that you keep yourself low and don't shine because you feel like you have to be a certain way, again, like, good girl energy is coming up again, or... If you're a man, you feel like you can't cry or you can't show your emotions or maybe like, or maybe you're a man and you really want to like paint your nails and like wear jewelry and stuff, but you're like, everyone's going to judge me or whatever. You know what I mean? Or if you're playing with what you do identify as and you want to, I feel like a lot of you guys are in a point where like, there's a lot of like personal discovery that could be happening. Maybe you're already in it, but maybe you're not yet. And maybe you are exploring that. Maybe you're even exploring, this isn't for everybody, but maybe you are exploring your sexuality a little bit. I, whatever way, it might, it might be a little bit scary in there. I'm telling you though, if you just in little ways let it come out, that's how this past life is really saying to you, do not let another life go by without being your absolute true self and accepting that accept yourself because some of you guys maybe you are like you're not really you know you know your gender or you like you know how you want to identify you know your sexuality maybe like you're set with all of that but there's still this energy of like you keep part of you down so in whatever way that is you keep part of you down and it's time to be seen and maybe that's as simple as, I, for some reason, I keep seeing a lot of you as like stay-at-home parents. I don't know if who that is. If, if that's you, then there you go. But it's like, yeah, so anyway, it's this, you feel forgotten in some way and, and you forgot yourself is what your past life's trying to tell you. You forgot, we forgot ourselves. That's what happened. We, the society didn't do this to us Society showed us a model and we took it because we felt we had to and now we're stuck. So let your freak flag fly. I'm telling you, do it in small ways. Even if it's something super small, like, um, I don't know, like you want to like you wanna have your boobs hanging out in the next shirt you... <laughs> Again, that's like, obviously, if you have boobs, but... Or whatever. If you do something that you normally wouldn't do, but that feels fun and just push yourself... Maybe some of you want to be social media stars, but you're scared of what people are going to say to you. Like, if, it, if, it's, if it's fun for you to almost be, have an alter ego to start out, because, you know, whenever people have alter egos, that is, a, that is an authentic part of them. And, and so they're kind of saying to you, like, your alter ego may just become, like, your regular, like, it just is your personality, but you're just, it's alter right now because you don't feel like it's going to be accepted per se. 
Yeah. It's all of you guys watching this pile are so different. That's why I'm really trying to like grab at like everything that's coming in, but all of you are so different. So just go with the common thread here, which is like, let your freak flag fly. Literally. I feel like some of you guys are about to be like world famous drag queens. Like I'm telling you, if you let, if, if you let your personality shine, I, I see you actually like being in the spotlight and maybe you don't desire that, but like in what, even the spotlight, just people are noticing you now on the street, you know, people are remembering your name. People are, you're not like plain Jane anymore. Now you're like shining. I really see that for you. And I really, I really feel like it might be scary for you to hear that, but your past life is coming in and saying, do, I'm just going to be straight up with you. They're saying, don't waste another lifetime. Don't do that. Do not do that. And you can do whatever you want. Like nothing, nothing that you're doing now is a waste, but don't, don't go through your entire life. Never having pushed it to be your authentic self. Don't do that. They're like, don't do that because otherwise we got to do it again and again and again and again and again. And like, I'm tired. <laughs> I also want to draw your attention to the number that's on here. We have number 11. Oops, sorry. Oh, okay. Again, not really focusing, but okay. So we have 11 right there. I feel like this is very significant for a lot of you. If, if that, maybe that's your angel number. Maybe that's how, you know, you're on the right track. You see 11, 11, a lot of places, or even if that's not your angel number, I'm, I'm just getting sit with the number 11. There's something about that because to me, 11, 11, or the, the number 11 is like Gemini energy of like two sides of a person looking at each other. I, I feel this alter, e I feel like your alter ego is actually just your real personality, but you don't, it's like your alter ego is how you're presenting now. And your real personality is still in there somewhere or your real being essence. Like just play with it. Even if you want to, I don't know if, if any of you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have like a million wigs and I wear them all the time that ex just explore how you feel about certain things or ways. Again, for some of you, I am feeling, again, if you are 18 plus, I am feeling also explore like in a sexual way, however you feel comfortable. But if you're already set on your sexuality and you're like, I, I already know all that, I just, I just like hide in the shadows in other ways, that just like explore and push it and do something, past life is coming in so strong, like, please. <laughs> Let us shine. We mu we need to shine. Wow. Yeah. Th there's gold. There's gold in being your absolute self. Speak your truth to people. If you do have, if you are um, like at a at a job, like at an office or something, you know, be more forward to your boss. Like obviously, don't do something and get fired, but like, be seen, be heard. If you're at a meeting. And there's a bunch of people there and they're all talking and you feel like, okay, I'm just not going to say anything. Say something. Just push yourself to be heard, to be seen, to be known. If for no other reason, just to show yourself that you can do that, that you can stand up for yourself and that you can push yourself to be seen. Because it truly doesn't matter if you're seen by anybody else. It's always exclusively you. But we do need to use the 3D to help us do that. We do work with the 3D in that way. So, so yes, it is internal but we use the external to help us get to the internal. So that's how I explain this to group one, but how all this works is that whatever's happening in your external reality is exclusively brought to you by your subconscious because your subconscious is the rejected part of yourself. So the subconscious rules, that's why it's, they're allowed to rule the, that's why when things happen to people, they're like, I don't get why I'm not manifesting this. I don't get why like every year goes by and like nothing's happening for me. That's literally why, because the subconscious is what rules your external, not your conscious mind. So you're, if you want to really change your life, you have to dig deep into the parts of yourself that you've rejected and let those parts speak. That's the only way, that's the only way it's ever going to be. So, so everything you see around you is your subconscious screaming for help, screaming to be seen by you. So this is your way of like getting in touch with that side of you, the rejected side of you. Oh my God, please leave a comment. Let me know if this is resonating with you. And like, I don't know if whatever you feel comfortable sharing, but like maybe in what way you're gonna let this 
alter ego come through, like your real self. That's really fun. Again, if you're interested in a private reading or a recording, links um, and everything is below. And like the video, subscribe so you never miss a video. Um, I try to post twice a week, so you'll see me very soon. Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me. I hope you had, well, I ripped you to shreds. So I would say I hope you had as good a time as I did, but you're probably like, dang it. <laughs> but hopefully you got something out of this and I'll see you in the next reading. Group three, if you chose East, this is your reading. Sorry, the sun is like blasting me, but um, I am a solar powered creature and I must have the sun blasting in my face to do these readings sometimes. Okay. Your message has come in so strong and so clear that I need to just like blah, blah, blah. So the first, and so this is unequivocally the message for this group. So if you listen to this and you're like, I don't know if I'm resonating with that, then another group is definitely yours. But this one, holy crap. So everyone's past lives has a very common theme. Again, this is a general reading, by the way. So I can't specifically give you exactly what your past life was because I don't know who's watching this. If you want something more personalized, that is the Akashic Record offer. There's recorded and one-on-one -on -one versions down below in the description box. Okay, so, oh my God. This past life, okay, you were, I, I have head to toe chills. Young child, you came into the world with powerful healing abilities, like freakish powerful healing abilities, like with your hands or like your voice or in some way you were able to channel the divine. You were like so pure and you channeled the divine. I literally feel like, okay, let me actually like talk with them more. Okay, so for many of you, you were like, okay, and I, I, I'm just gonna put it in this way because it's a cultural reference that like everyone understands, but it's very like Jesus energy of, just came in with like no, virtually no karmic blocks and was just able to channel like pure love and was able to be pure love like that Christ consciousness like that that unconditional love energy because you know listen I grew up Muslim like I <laughs> I don't know too much about Christianity but but whenever I hear those stories one uh, something I feel in my heart and I do work with with Christ consciousness a lot and when I hear that story, what I feel in my heart is that, you know, Jesus was, he came into the lives of these two people who were like, not ordinary people, you know, no one's like an ordinary person, but like, it, it almost like he truly was this like shining light. Like he literally was like a star that, that came down and was birthed from like a mere mortal and he, you know what I mean? Although Mother Mary, she also is super powerful psychic lady, but okay, anyway, I digress. The point is that this feels like, this feels, so that was you. You were like this child that came through and I really feel like your parents were like, what is happening here? <laughs> Cause this child is like next level and you are healing people and you are really causing a stir, really causing a stir. Oh, I hate when I, you know, I love doing these readings because I love the Akashic Record and I love hearing people's story. I love storytelling and hearing people's stories and feel, I love to feel people's pain so I can help you like move through that. But damn it, it doesn't stop how icky it feels when you're in it. So anyway, all of you guys, it, it felt like you were very much a North Star for your communities. I feel like a lot of you guys, even your mere existence in these past lives, helped people believe in divine in the divine like you you really brought faith to a lot of people just by you existing and by the way i do feel like this is you in this life too but i feel like a lot of you guys have not activated this yet and so i'm here to tell you how to do that so your past life all your past lives are coming here and saying that in each one of these basically what happened was the same thing as the story of jesus right like the rulers are like oh no we can't have these people being healed. We can't have these people believing in magic and miracles and like divine love and whatever, because then they're going to rise up and they're not going to, they're not going to deal with our poor treatment of them anymore. And if they don't want to do, and look at these numbers, if an entire nation rises up, how many people are in the nation versus how many people are, you know, in the government? Like 
it, it would be like a one day war, you know, it, it literally would be it, like they would just start marching to the Capitol and then like everyone would just surrender because they're like, oh, crap, now everyone's united against us. So it really feels like you had to be dealt with because. Oh, yeah, because you were just. It was too dangerous for you to live and for you to be around. Guys, I literally feel this pain in you of like divine. Why would you send me into this life like just to be killed? Why would you send me into that life? Oh, my God. OK, sorry, I just got a feeling. This is also like super personal. Obviously, you know, it's it's for you or it's not for you. You can take it or leave it. I, I also feel like. Okay, I'm just gonna say, I, I made a deal with myself that I was always gonna say the message even if I felt uncomfortable saying it. So I'm just gonna say, I also just felt suddenly a hit that maybe some of you lost your children in this lifetime and you feel that way. Like, why would you bring them into this world, divine, God, whatever, why would you bring them into this world just to like take them away so young? So the message I want to say coming into you guys, I'm really trying to let Mina stay back so that like divine can just come through. All of you watching this are very psychically advanced, even if you don't know it, you are. You have a gift. You might have shoved it down, but you are very powerful. And I feel like a lot of you have shoved it down and downplayed it and tried to get away from it. And the past life is coming in and saying, the reason you have done that is because deep within our subconscious, there is a story that if I show my power, I will be eliminated. And they're saying to you, that's not the way anymore. We're not living in a time where people like, where that can happen, where, you know, you're not in, at least I'm assuming you're not living in, in, well, no, I, this part I know, you're not living in some medieval times or like whatever, where there's no law and order and like someone can, can just get, like, look at all the, look at all the people acting in that way, acting in like a healing way healing people on a large scale. Like, look at what I'm doing right now, okay? I'm activating you and showing you your power. No one's coming and trying to eliminate me, you know? Like, no one, no, no one's, like, watching me and uh, gonna, like, kill me, you know? You know what I'm saying? There's too many of us. They can't do that anymore. In the Jesus time or, like, in the time where you were around in these past lives, there were very few of you. So that was an easy thing to do. But now to shine and to like really like let your healing power come through, nothing bad is going to happen to you. You're going to get internet trolls. You're going to get people being like, well, science says, you know, like you're going to get that for sure. But those are just people and they're stuck in their own crap and like, don't underestimate the power of letting your light shine because even that kind of person who's like trying to put you down something that you said could ring true to them like 10 years later and they could be like, dang, actually, I'm really sorry that I trolled you 10 years ago because now I'm a light worker too, you know? So anyway, I'm just, I guess I'm speaking to your past life trauma inside you. As I say, that's literally not going to happen. Like it's not, I guess I can't say a hundred percent. I don't know. You know, I'm not getting like the future, but I'm actually, I am feeling very strong to say to you though, that like, Actually, yeah, I am getting it's not going to happen. So I'm just going to go with that. <laughs> I am getting that. I'm, I'm getting you are needed. Don't dim this anymore, please. And it's, it's psychically. It's, it's very because some of the other groups, there's been a similar message of like, let your light shine. But with you guys specifically, so if you're drawn to other groups, go ahead and watch those as well. But specifically for you guys, it's psychic ability. It's it's healing. It's healing gifts. It's and it doesn't have to be that you are like specifically a psychic for a living, but even like a therapist. Right. That's like major healing or like in the, a doctor or a surgeon or like whatever. Like if you're any form a coach, like if you're any form of like healing someone else. That is. 
Dang, you guys. I want to draw your attention to the number on this card. It's three. Sorry, this is a webcam. This doesn't focus very well. <laughs> I'm t okay, you guys, as soon as I actually get a bunch of subscribers on here, I mark my words, I'm going to get a regular camera and I'm going to do it right. But I, you know, this is kind of a pet project for now. So if you want to see more of these videos, please continue to leave comments and like and subscribe. Okay, so yeah, I. I feel like a lot of you guys are Reiki healers, by the way, or you have like earth energy flowing through you, or it could be any other type of healing modality. It could be anything, but let your, like do it, unlock it, unleash it. And the way that you unleash it is you stop being afraid of being seen or what people are going to think about you. I feel like a lot of you guys too could possibly be in the health industry already, but you are on the science side of like, nurse or doctor or something, but you're kind of feeling like you want to do a little more of like the holistic type stuff, but you feel like people are going to judge you. Also, I'm getting a very strong message if that's you, that it's not going to be too long before science and spirituality begin to merge. And you could possibly be helping that be that bridge. You know, they're really saying there's a reason why like there are people who are really high, born highly psychic and then go into work at a hospital because we are meant to have that there so that we can begin to bridge this gap because there actually isn't a distinction between science and spirituality. It's just like humans have created one, but there actually isn't one. Okay. Oh my God. I'm like, okay. Okay. I want to see if there is, it just came in so strong. Wow. I want to see if there's any other piece of advice for you or anything else I can say to you. Just d work with your pain, work with your pain of betrayal from the divine betrayal from God, whatever word you're using the betrayal of why would you send me there only to like take me out like that so quick the really the message is like you have to look at lives as outfit changes you have to look and i know this is like so not human right like as i even as i say it my human side is like that's crap but my spiritual side needs to say this so i'm i just want to tell you i'm with you in this with all the feelings but you have to know that you've lived millions of lives. And when you look at it from the higher self or the soul perspective, it's just one life. It's like, who cares? It's like an outfit. Do you mourn your outfit at the end of the day when you take it off? You know what I mean? So obviously, again, that's like pretty, like not <laughs> helpful. Um, but see if you can shift into a spiritual perspective with that. If nothing else, just so that you can rise up again. They want you to feel the pain and let yourself feel the pain, but I have I have a feeling that you guys have already been feeling the pain for a long time. I mean, if this is your if this is your group, you've already been in the pain of not rising to your full potential for a long time. So you don't you already know that pain deeply. Now it's time to rise. It's time to say, "Okay, I'm done feeling this way and I'm I'm going to see what life has to offer for me. I'm going to see what life has in store for me because you're not meant to live the same life over and over again. You're not meant to live the same themes over and over again. The only reason you live them over and over again is so that you can break those themes. So you're not meant to get stoned to death again. You know what I'm saying? That's not supposed to happen again. You're supposed to rise. It's kind of like they keep saying to you, you're not in the era of like that type of like craziness anymore. There's too many healers. There's too many outspoken healers and people. And you're like, that's not the tactic anymore. Now the tactic again, why I said like the trolls and stuff. Now the tactic to silence healers and, and light leaders is ridicule, is shame, which is why, you know, some people can like come at you and be like, prove it. If that's the truth, then prove it. Like show us through science or like if they're religious, they're like, that's blasphemy. Like that's, that's how they're trying to take down healers and light leaders now. But if you know your truth, if you know what you're doing is helping people and you're con and you're like this, that's what I'm trying to tell you. If you have to be, just be true to yourself only, 
So like, again, look at me here. This is my truth. Channeling messages, being in the Akashic record, doing card readings, like this is my truth. So no matter how many hateful comments I get on various social media platforms, this is me. I have to, I can't abandon myself. I have to come, keep coming and showing up here and doing this because I have to do it for myself. That's my authentic self. So it literally doesn't matter how many people throw stones. I have to keep showing up because that is my destiny. So I want you to, to like anchor into your destiny and know what your destiny is and know what you feel. And you're not going to know the full picture right now, but just take a step. What's the first step? You have to take that step because your soul is going to keep coming back and yelling at you in every lifetime. You're going to be in the next lifetime and I'm going to be my next lifetime. And I'm still going to be being like, okay, group three. So look at this, <laughs> you know? So let's not repeat this again. Let's do it right. That's the final part of this message. Please leave a comment if this resonated with you. I'd love to hear from you and like what your gift is, or I love that. Let's share. This is a community, you know, let's share. I would love to hear from you. Like this video for engagement, subscribe so you don't miss another video. Of course, again, links below in the description if this is resonating with you and you want a full reading or a recorded reading. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, group four. If you chose the fire card, this is your reading. I know the sun is like crazy right now. Um, I said this in all the other groups, so I'll say it to you too. I am a solar creature. I literally need, I need to recalibrate under the sun. I swear, I, I feel like I have solar panels in buried in my skin. I have to have the sun if I'm gonna do psychic stuff. So um, sorry if that, that makes this video look weird. Anyway, so guys, oh wait, let, where's your card? Okay, here. First of all, I hope you are interested in alchemy because the first hit that I got from this card was working with the violet flame. I don't know if you've heard of the violet flame before, but it's a transmuter of energy. And when I work in my membership, I take people to the violet flame and then we kind of like throw into the violet flame, we release what's no longer serving us, like whatever emotions or thoughts or whatever, and then it's transmuted to love. A really powerful message is coming in for you that you need to start channeling your unbridled, passionate energy into like, okay, how can I say this? Again, this is an energy check, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna speak on this, and then if you feel like oh that's not really resonating with me, then a different pile is your pile or a different group. But what this card is wanting to say is that many of you have a lot of fire in you. I feel like a lot of you have maybe like a, some like anger that can come out. Like you have an angry side, you got a fiery side, you got a sassy side, and they're saying to you begin to use that sometimes it can it's it's like a flame like it, it can consume you or you can control it now the way we control it is not to stifle it the way we control it is like let it out like group four let it come out i feel like you do let it come out but past life energy coming in and many of these past lives are on mars so if you have any, if you feel a connection to Mars specifically, then this is really a sign for you. But Mar Martians, the energy of them is very fire and war. And like, we, we solve things by fighting it out, <laughs> you know? And I don't feel like that's for everybody watching this. I feel like a lot of you have it under control to an extent, but it's like, Stif I, I do feel like it's sti some of it is stifled or used in the wrong way. So it's like you're, you're cu you know, cucumber a lot of the time, but then when it comes out, it comes out. And then you're just like, okay, it's just coming out now. I'm just like a, a dragon breathing fire right now. But everyone's kind of different. This is also want to say, by the way, this is a general reading. If you want more specifics about your specific past lives, that is an Akashic Record reading. You can get the one-on-one -on -one or the recorded reading. Links in the description box below. Um, so just keep that in mind too. But let me get a, I need to get more of a pulse. On, you guys are like, I feel like you're over there and I chase you over here and then you go over here and then I chase you over here. I feel like I can't, I can't grab you 
which I think is pretty in line with the reading so far, just to be honest. So that's why it's kind of taking me a second here, but to like really get your energy. There is such a need here for grounding and pushing that energy out in a useful way. So again, I really feel like for a lot of you, when that anger, the sassiness or the like, like kind of comes out, you don't really control it. You just let it kind of do its thing. And they're saying to you, you're burning your village down. Past lives. Let me get some, what, let me get the story from these past lives. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, this is crazy. So a lot of you watching this, oh my God, if you're resonating with this and you're watching, leave a comment sometime during it because a lot of you guys, this, this didn't happen in any other group. A lot of you guys, this, oh my God. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm trying to like say this. So what I'm seeing right now is an intergalactic war. And a lot of you guys were in that war together. So this wasn't in all the other groups. It was like, oh, I see some of you were in Egypt at this time. And then I saw you were like in Rome at this other time, like different times, different areas, different, uh, different eras. But this group, I feel like you guys were all in that war at the same time. Like you all knew each other from before. Wow, that's crazy. Oh my God, please leave a comment if that's resonating with you because like how cool would it be to connect with people that you knew in past lives? Like that's so awesome. Okay, so they're showing that there was a lot of hotheads who it was like, at first it was civil. It was like, okay, we want this and we want this. Okay, okay. But then it's like, now you're pushing me and 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 I'm not communicating very well. So it's building up, it's building up, it's building up. And then it explodes. And then it's like, actually, we're going to obliterate you. No, we're going to obliterate you. And then it's just like, a, and then it's like an all out war. Because I, a, a lot of your past lives are saying this war did not need to happen. It was so stupid. Like it, it didn't need to happen. It, it was just all of us had unbridled. Like I, I'm seeing like, um, have any of you guys seen The Last Unicorn, the animated? <laughs> if my sister is watching this, she knows. I don't think she would though, because I feel like this isn't her. But um, if you've seen The Last Unicorn. <laughs> so there's the Red Bull. And the Red Bull is like, obviously a Red Bull, but like fiery. And the Red Bull like comes and like takes all the unicorns and like, well, I don't want to give anything away. Anyway, you just go watch it if you want to. But, and if you know, you know. But I'm really feeling like you guys in your past lives had very red, the Red Bull energy of like, I want to destroy joy. I will destroy joy. And I will be number one. And I will be the strongest. But it's like, it's interesting because it's like, that's not your whole personality. It feels like that's just a little part of you that comes out when provoked. But, but the, it feels like the real you is like, you can be level-headed and you can be like really kind and, and really compassionate. And I feel like you love fiercely, you know, the people that you love, you love them fiercely. You do anything for them. You really understand them. You're like really good with them. But then it, it feel, but there's some, a little piece inside you that's like, you're going to push me, you're going to push me, you're going to push me. Well, now I'm going to explode. Like now I'm going to, you know? So I do feel like there are some of you listening to this who you did work that part out, but now it changed from like anger to like really, really passionate with like, I'm seeing King of Wands reversed which is, which is the energy of like going hard and like being super productive, but almost losing track of like why you're even being productive, like losing, there's no temperance, there's no calm. It's just like working really, really hard to get to this goal. And they're wanting to say to you, like, this is an arbitrary goal. Like a million dollars is an arbit, like who, like, why do you even want that? Like, not that you shouldn't have that, but I wanted to call that out because I feel like there are a few of you where the energy isn't anger specifically, but it's um, unbridled passion, we'll say, and working yourself to the bone and for what? Okay, so I wanted to call that out too. So whichever on the spectrum, whichever way you are, but again, this, you guys were all in the same war at the same time. I am telling you, I see it. And those of you who resonate with what I just said, I, 
I'm really feeling like you were the ones in the war that were trying to like get everyone to see what was wrong. And then the other ones of you were like the fighters, the warriors that were like, I'm gonna just burn this place to the freaking ground. There feels like there's this energy of instead of calmly communicating and like seeing what's gonna happen, I'm just gonna burn it to the ground. So I don't know if you in your relationships or like your friendships or whatever, that's kind of your style is like, you'll be like so, so nice. But then if you get overwhelmed, then you have to just like burn it to the ground. Like there's no in between, but past life is coming through and saying to you, these wars aren't just on a galactic level. They're on an interpersonal level too. And if you're fighting a war with like your partner or your siblings or your parents or your whoever it is, just analyze your part in it because they're saying, don't let history repeat itself. Don't let things get to a point where it's World War III and now everyone's mad at each other and now no one's hearing each other and, and everyone's feeling unheard and unseen and it's just like a hot mess. It's almost like give people a chance to like make it right with you by speaking more just calmly and like being slow. Like for all of you, it feels like let's get some temperance here. For those of you who are on the other side of it, who aren't necessarily like hotheads in an angry way, but it's like you work, 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 work. You also, it's like, where's the temperance? We need calm. We need patience. We need to come back into our body and, and come back to ourselves and say, do I need to act right now? Or is there a way that I could like sit for a second and just feel what's happening? and not react right away and just kind of, that's what it is. I feel like a, a lot of you guys, I feel like the core of it for everyone is anxiety over what's gonna happen. But some of you go left with the anger and some of you go right with like intense anxiety. And so I'm just gonna like ignore it and like work through it. I'll just like throw myself into my work, you know? You could be very type A in, a, in other ways too, where you just kind of like, well, I'll let you, you know what that means. I felt it click. So, you know, if that's you, you know what that means for you. Oh man. I have to say to you, I feel like this is a message that you're like, yep, that's me. But what I really want to say to you is the reason why your past life is coming through in this reading right now to say it is because you still have not done what you need to do to transmute that. You have to transmute that again through calm, so that you can dive into the actual reason that you're behaving in that way and clear that out. If you don't do that, if you continue to mask and you don't do that, if you don't improve your communication skills, if you don't improve like, again, if you're on the left hand side of that, like if you don't improve your communication skills and give people the benefit of the doubt more often. And then on the other side, if you don't slow down, you are gonna look back on your life they're showing me this image of like the war torn world. They're showing me Mars. Okay. I know this is like kind of conspiracy theory, but they're showing like, look at what happened to Mars. We destroyed that planet. And now it's a freaking wasteland over there. We killed it. They're showing that it used to be lush again. Okay. If you're a NASA, whatever, don't come for me. I'm just, I'm just showing it. I'm just telling you what I see. They're showing it as like lush and beautiful and, and they just fucking ripped that place to shreds. Sorry, I just swore, but they just ripped that place to shreds. And it's, it's, it's this really sad, heavy feeling of like, what a shame that we couldn't work it out and that we were kind of acting like animals, you know, man, don't blow up your life. Don't blow up your friendships. Don't blow up your relationships. Don't blow up your career. Don't blow your life up. Like sit with yourself on whichever side you're on with this and channel that energy into creating something beautiful, more long-term. So I'm feeling like channel that energy and make it Okay, sorry, I have to like lower this. I need the sun, but now I'm like sweating. Okay, so lower yourself. No, not lowers. Back in the reading. 
back in the reading. Now I'm taking my own advice here. So ground down, just take a second and analyze where in your life you could use this message. And some of you, I can already feel that you're like rejecting this message and you're like, I think I'm doing fine, <laughs> you know? So whatever, it's your prerogative. If you're doing fine, then you're doing fine. But I'm just coming to you as honestly just someone who really cares and just wants to give you this message um, if you want to take it and just really sit with gratitude and calmness and peace and see where some of that passion can be transmuted into love and where you can slow down and where you can just be with yourself and be with the people that you love and recognize what you have and how far you've come and just so many positive things. Not to say don't feel the negative. Of course, my, if you know my channel, you know I'm always talking about feeling negative emotions, but like when that like excited energy comes up, let's see if we can channel it. So again, back to the original message, instead of like the fire breathing dragon, I'm just like, ah, like, and the fire's just going everywhere, channel it. Like, okay, I feel this energy coming up. What should I like sit in it? Okay, what should I do with it? A and throw it at something like productive, you know? I'm feeling like you get it. If you don't get it, leave a comment. <laughs> or if you do get it, leave a comment. Um, yeah, channel it in a more productive way so that it doesn't go everywhere and you don't have regrets later. That is the, that's like the final conclusion of this message for you. Okay, thank you so much for being here. Oh, please take that if you want to, because that was, that really came from like such love and such like, don't let this happen again. Wow. Okay, if you would like a private reading or a recorded reading, the links are below. Please like, leave a comment, let me know how this resonated for you, how you feel about this. Uh, subscribe so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.